This is the lockpicking lawyer, and what I have for you today is a Korean Zarker brand padlock that came to me in an Amazon gift package. This model J45S was sent to me by Eric in Oakland, who apparently purchased the pick that Bosnian Bill and I designed, and has been using one of these for a practice lock, unfortunately without much success. He wants to know if this is a good lock to start on, or if there's something tricky about it. To answer that question, we're going to try to pick it open using the same tool as Eric, but before I start, I want to mention one potential pitfall he may be encountering. Because there's no spinner in here protecting the discs, the tensioning nose on the pick can easily engage discs 1 and 2 rather than just number 1. That will prevent the lock from opening, so I need to be very careful to only engage the first disc. Before I do that, however, we need to rotate all of those discs as far clockwise as they will go. And as I said, while we insert this pick, I need to be very careful to only engage disc number one. I think I've done that, and our tip is in the back, so let's start there. That should be disc number seven, which feels like it's in a gate. Number six is binding. Got a nice click out of six, he feels set. Five feels like it's in a gate. Four is binding. Nice click there. Three is binding. Click out of three, he feels set. Two is binding, got a click there. And this lock is open. Okay, folks, as you saw, it wasn't terribly difficult to pick. I did not feel any false gates or any other anti-pick features. So to answer Eric's question, it's not a bad lock for a beginner to practice on. In any case, that's all I have for you today. If you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.